Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Alright, since last time I made it out of Narsh here, I also switched up my party because I want to be betting some stuff in the Coliseum in this episode. Also, I want to show off some uh, new espers that we got. And I actually, I actually did what I said I was going to do. I grinded 255 battles for the Curse Shield. Turned it into a Paladin Shield. And also, when I was doing that, I took the time to, as I was grinding for that, I got all the spells I wanted to learn. Uh, here's Tritok. Cast all three elemental spells. Torado. This is the only one that Terra I could not get up to. So, there you go. You can learn Quake and White Wind. White Wind's very good. Phoenix. I got Life 3 and all the other spells. Ahmet. She already learned Flare. So, there you go. And on Celis, I have her working on Palador to finish up the Haste 2, Slow 2 combo. I got her to learn Fire 3, Ice 3, and Bolt 3. And all on Torado. That is critical that she has White Wind. And Quarter. Quarter is actually pretty nice. I got the Life 3 for her as well. Okay, and let's check out some of the relics we got last time. We got the Gauntlet. It's not as abusive as it is in Final Fantasy V, though it is still pretty good. I may bet it at the Coliseum. I don't know. I'll think about it. We also got the Pod Bracelet, cast Safe and Shell, but we're going to be betting that for a better item. Anyways, I want to show you exactly where I did all my grinding. It's the easiest spot in the world of Ruin. It actually only took me 20 minutes, actually, with fast forwarding, so you want to go to Sid's place, right here. Do not battle on the desert here. You want to battle right here. I'll show you one battle of what you can meet up with, and it's always the same enemies. I believe they're peepers. Yeah, they kill themselves after, like, 10 seconds, and they have, like, 6 HP. So just go crazy on them. Yeah. They start with, I believe it's called a seizure, or seize status ailment, where they, I believe it's poison. I don't know. Also, I want to show you the paladin shield. Oop, I didn't want to do that. Remove that, and let's show that off. Yeah, look at all those stat gains. Holy cow. All right. Now I want to head over to the Coliseum and do some betting. I'm going to show all of these on screen this time, except for one specific one. And here we go. Now I already set up Edgar and Setzer. Those are the two people that are going to be playing in this, so... Let's talk to this guy here. And I want to bet my pod bracelet. Make a safe state here. And as long as Edgar can get in the air, we'll be fine. Come on. No. Yeah, you just want to give him the Dragoon Boots and Dragon Horn. That's all. And a Thunder Shield or Aegis Shield might not be a bad idea. Crap, this is not good. That That's gonna hurt him. Or not. Yeah. This should kill him off here. I think. Alright. Got a hero ring out of that. I'm gonna take a second, rearrange Edgar again, and be right back. Okay, we're back. Now I actually want to bet the Ragnarok uh, weapon we got. You don't have to bet it, I just think you can win a better item if you do. If I can find it. Oh, alright, well I guess let's have to arrange my items there. Where's it at? There it is. Yeah, you can win question mark. You want to be using Edgar. 
Same setup as before. Yeah. Keep peeling us up. Why are you using a level 1 ice spell? Get in the air. And I decided against it. I'm not actually going to bet the gauntlet. Yeah, that guy can use a instant death attack. Do it one more time, and if I don't get it, I'll do it off screen. Come on, Edgar. Now, I believe if you bet the gauntlet, you can win a thunder shield, though I really don't care for it. You can if you want. There we go. And then after this, we're gonna bet our... We're gonna actually bet a... Uh, Thunder Shield to win a... Genji Shield, sorry. I'm trying to look at my notes and talk at the same time. Come on, one more. Get in the air. Dang it. Get in the air. Don't do the instant death. Okay, that's fine. There we go. That should do it. Come on. Hit him more than two times. Alright, we got him. We got the Illumina Sword. Now let's check that out right away. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Want to remove that. Look at that! Look at those stats! That's insane! Max battle power, it is the best weapon in the game. So you want to give that to Celis or Terra, it doesn't matter, whichever one. Now, here's my equipment on Setzer. You want to have dual trumps with the Genji helmet and force armor. And let's bet a Thunder Shield here. Quick safe state. There we go. And yeah, this one could take a while because this guy can use an instant death attack like before, so hopefully it doesn't. And if I don't get it on this try, I'll get it off screen. Now also what you can do is you can bet ninja stars, like how this guy's throwing at us. And you can win tax stars, which I believe they're the strongest stars in the game. But that would take way too long and Shadow's already doing 4,000 plus damage each throw, so I care less about that. Now I'm going to take care of this and be right back. Okay, we're back and I learned, I mean, I got the Genji shield. Now I switched my party around because we're going to be fighting a boss in a minute. A little bit of a spoiler, but here's my setup. I have dual dragon horns and dragoon boots on both Mog and Edgar with pearl lances. That is critical. You want to have as much Gaia gear on your characters as possible. Also, I hope I have... Do I have float? Yes, they all float, viewers. You want to cast float on your party. And I don't think that's necessary about getting the attack stars. You can if you want. I wouldn't put it past you. But yeah, you want to have the Illumina on Terra. And the reason I switched the... um. I gave Terra the Paladin Shield is because remember it it teaches Ultima at a times one multiplier. So that'll be critical. I'm gonna make a safe state right here. Alright, let's head in here. Yeah, I put Mog at the lead. Huh? Okay. And apparently Mog's on slow mode today. I believe we head up here. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Oh, alright. Yeah, dragon's here. So you have to head up here. And yeah, the that guy's still trying to compose music. Even when a dragon's sitting on stage. That's great. Hey. You want to press this right one. And fall down. He, he. Yeah, there's a... Now you want to have Float or Gaia Gear on, trust me, or you will die for boss time against the Dirt Dragon himself. You want to be using Bum Rush and Dual Jump? 
at Terra Morph. This will be a piece of cake with this party. This is one of my favorite party setups ever. With a dual jump, it's just so amazing. And what do we want to use? Our new Fire 3. You could cast Phantom, but it doesn't matter. Another one of my favorite setups is having Shadow, Gaw, Mog, and Edgar because they're all... I mean, three characters would be... They're basically Berserk. They act, on, they act by themselves, and all you have to do is just keep throwing stars at the guy. You get a Magus Rod. And four dragons left. Yeah, no problem. But that's all time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Next episode, we will be heading out from here and doing another side quest. This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!